Hatchet by Gary Paulson is an interesting tale about 13-year-old Brian Robeson, a boy from New York City. Brian, like many children today, is going through an unfortunate ordeal. His parents are getting divorced. Before boarding a single-engine plane headed for Canada so that he can see his father, Brian is given a hatchet by his mother. While riding the plane, Brian struggles to understand why his mother would put him through this. He tries to comprehend why she would keep her secret or affair from him for so long. After sitting quietly in the plane for quite a while, the pilot decides to give him a short flying lesson. Later, the pilot dies of a heart attack, and Brian must use this newfound skill to make an emergency landing by a lake in the Canadian wilderness. Brian, a city boy, struggles to survive for some time. At first, he just sits and waits for rescue, not realizing the creeping danger of starvation. Soon, however, this sinks in, and he desperately eats berries from an unknown bush. Later, he is punished by this mistake and spends the rest of the night sick. As Brian remains stranded, he becomes more self-sufficient. He learns to use both his hatchet and his surroundings in order to survive. He constructs a shelter for himself and finds that he can create fire by striking the blade of his hatchet against a flintstone. Brian also discovers ways of catching fish and small birds that he calls pool birds. Soon after he has been able to satisfy his basic needs, his mind turns back to his parents' divorce. While having to support himself out in the wilderness, Brian has matured quite a bit. He looked at the situation with a different point of view and began to understand his mother's reasoning for keeping the secret from him. However, he still wished his family's situation had remained the same way it had been. Brian soon faces some obstacles, such as running with a moose and a tornado that destroy his shelter. This forces him to seek out the survival package on the plane. Once he retrieves it from the bottom of the lake, Brian decides to make himself Thanksgiving dinner with the city food inside they had missed for so long. As he is sitting down to eat, a pilot in a small plane lands in the lake and Brian invites him over to try the food. Brian had grown so comfortable in his newfound life that he was almost not excited to leave. The burden of providing for himself had evolved into a life of freedom. However, he realized that he must return back to his mother and leave his new home behind.